going on everybody it's the assassin welcome to the video if you're new please consider subscribing anything and everything motorcycles is what we're about here and you know sexy cars from time to time <laughs> but as you can tell i got me a new ruroc the 3.0 and this isn't going to be like your traditional unboxing i kind of wanted to do the unboxing and ride review in one video and yeah so like i'll be putting up like you know some shots of me unboxing the video but there won't be any sound of me talking or anything but yeah i just wanted to talk about it so let's go ahead and get into it. i'll do a little voiceover right now so as you can tell um you know i'm unboxing it i kind of unboxed it already because i couldn't wait so i'm kind of just running through the the uh, unboxing um it did come with a little pamphlet or whatever in that little empty section that i pointed at so I took that out and I have no idea where it's at already, but it doesn't matter. No one reads that shit, even though they probably should. <laughs> I also want to do, as I'm doing this review and unboxing, I kind of also want to um, talk about the differences I had in my 1.0 versus my, um, versus this one, the 3.0. And man, it's a world of difference, I'll tell you, because not only is the fit and finish of this helmet 10 times better than the 1.0 but it's actually it's it's a lot quieter and you know it's still loud i still hear everything you know that's what you get when you have a, a carbon fiber helmet but the material itself is a lot smoother it's it kind of has this like plush feeling in a sense it's still loud as you can tell um, I can I can put my hand here and it makes it better but so in a sense this helmet does feel lighter but it kind of is quieter at the same time um, I think they restricted some of the vents over here on the sides the front one is still open uh, I think is there an eyebrow vent yeah there is that one's always open um, now the real test is how this like leather-ish, so that the inside of the helmet is kind of this leather-ish material. And on a cool day, that would feel amazing. But it's a little toasty right now, and I can I can tell that this helmet is gonna get kind of hot. Because yeah, like I said, the inside is kind of this like leather plush material, I guess you could say. And it feels great. The, the and putting it on feels great. It honestly, it's a little bit easier to put on. Now taking it off is a challenge because I have all this shit on, so it doesn't help too much. But it does feel nice putting it on and kind of taking it off. Now, as you can tell, the gold visor I got. Um, I am gonna open my visor. I don't have many people coming up behind me, but like as you can tell, it goes one two three and then four so it's more of a um your traditional helmet instead of having instead of having those little like tool things that you had to use for the rock you can actually you know you can actually do something you can actually just twist and take off and then call it a day and you can literally switch swap visors on the go a lot better than you could on the 1.0 on the 2.0 i'm not too sure because i didn't buy that I didn't want to buy the 1.0 and then immediately buy the 2.0, so I didn't do that. So, but the 1.0, you had to use a tool that they gave you to take your uh, visor off, and it was kind of kind of tedious. It wasn't too bad, but it wasn't the quickest thing in the world. And it also, if you didn't tighten the screws tight enough, they would uh, loosen over time, and you would. Uh, the visor would start to get real flimsy and loose even okay I will say this without all of this shit on the helmet is still is incredibly light but even putting this on honestly the helmet still feels well balanced like I don't feel my head getting pulled this way or pulled this way because of the weight on this side from the Cena and it's, it's honestly it's pretty nice having all this equipment on for motovlogging and your helmet still be really light and it also feels more aerodynamic. I don't know if it's because it feels lighter in that sense, but it does feel more aerodynamic and I do like that about it. Yeah, at high speeds it's still pretty loud, 
Um, but you know, there's nothing you can do about that, put earplugs in, but you know, like I said, that's what you get when you get a light helmet. So if you're looking to get this helmet and you're thinking it's going to be like quiet, no, it's not quiet at all. It is quieter than its previous uh, iterations of the helmet, but it's not quieter than your heavier helmets on the market, your more touring like helmets. This is more obviously a sport bike helmet or if you have a, you know, a sensible windscreen in front of you that blocks most of the air, then yeah, you know, this helmet's also okay. But if you want a quiet helmet, this ain't the one. Don't get this helmet. But if you want a light, sporty helmet, get this helmet. And I mean, it looks badass. Like, come on. Honestly, I love Rock. To me, they're some of the best looking helmets out there. The only other helmet I would put above this one is the fucking AGV Pista. Uh, whatever version of Pista. And yeah, that, just, that helmet is just stupidly aggressive and it looks fucking amazing. But for $800, I don't know if I want to buy it. <laughs> but this helmet with the visor was about $550 give or take so you could you could always wait until you know the end of the year uh, when they're doing sales on this because that's what they did for the 1.0 I don't know if they did it for the 2.0 but because like I said I wasn't planning on buying the 2.0 but I got the 1.0 on sale so that saved me some money but I got this helmet uh, through pre-order so uh, and I haven't seen anybody else with this helmet. This one is the Slipstream, and I fucking love it. I love the gold and white. I think it looks fucking badass. Uh, and it fits, I, I think it fits my style the most. Whew. Yeah, it does get hot in this helmet, I will say. It's about 90 degrees today, and it gets hot in this helmet. feels amazing you know I think it's worth I think Ruroks are worth every bit of money you put into them for them because they they listen to the community and this helmet kind of proves that you know because they took away things people did not like about them and they improved them now like I said there's only so much you can do with a carbon fiber fucking helmet so quietness is not really something you can mess with too too much but you can make the fit and finish better and better each time you come out with a new helmet so yeah that's gonna do it though y'all i hope y'all enjoyed watching the video uh please subscribe and like um yeah and that'll do it thank y'all so much for watching y'all have a beautiful day night evening whatever it is and yeah sassin out <laughs>